my god! Woo! Nice job. Wow. Yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> wow. Nobody here, nope. all by ourselves. Yep. Got the whole lake, fish are rising, dry fly. They're eating the dry fly. It's probably 75 degrees outside. It's perfect. I mean, we're sitting looking at a glass calm lake and I got a I mean, fish on. Bigger rainbow than you probably catch most places in the United States on any given day on a dry fly. Easy does it. Found me some grass to go with him. A little bit of seaweed. Yeah. Come on, get off there. I mean, when it comes to the world of fly fishing, I just don't know that it gets any better than this. Look at this rainbow. Look at the size of the fish. He's not quite ready yet. Oh, he's still pretty hot. Not man. quite ready yet. <laughs> We're just going to play him out. we got all the time in the world. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Look at that fish. I mean, if that's not a healthy rainbow, I don't know what is. Look at that fish. Dry fly fishing in the evening at Vermejo. <laughs> Are you kidding? Get me better. Look at that hook jaw on him. Get that hook on out of there. What a fish. Nice healthy male. Almost got a hook jaw going. Look at those colors. I mean, that's, that's what this ranch is all about. Here at Vermejo Park Ranch, uh, we like to customize a guest's stay. So we talk to the guest, we let them know what's available, and then they can select and let us know what they want to experience. And then we exceed their expectations. At the headquarters area is where uh, guest service has been centered for over 100 years and, and a lot of the buildings here date back to that era. They've been restored and, and modernized, uh, but there's stone architecture that uh, has built, been built to last and they're really unique cottages and, uh, as, as well as another uh, small hotel that we have called Casa Meyer that's here at the headquarters. Guests that stay in Casa Grande can take their meals in here if they like. Uh, there's a 16 seat table behind me as well as uh, dining quarters. There's a, a great courtyard, very shaded courtyard and an atrium with uh, tropical plants here. That's tr uh, reminiscent of what was here originally when the house was built. 25 miles west of here at the high country, we have an off-grid uh, lodge, it's called Castilla Lodge. Solar powered, um, locally harvested uh, wood. Uh, locally carved headboards by a local artist. Um, really unique experience. It's, there's eight rooms up there. Uh, it's a great high country lodge. It's a 10,000 feet solar powered. Uh, beautiful views. Elk out the, out the front window, elk out the back window, and, and uh, nearly 13,000 foot peaks just out the front door. Our culinary team, we have uh, three commercial kitchens here at the ranch. There's two at headquarters and there's one at our high country lodge at Costilla and our culinary team really tries to, to get in touch with our guests ahead of time, find out what uh, their needs and their, their desires are. There's always a, we always have a bison dish. We're bison ranch, we're bison producers, so there's always a, a bison dish, uh, a game, uh, often a beef, a fish, and then a vegetarian dinner. But it's, it's hearty food, it's comfortable food, but it's, it's excellent. We try to uh, rotate our menu about every two weeks and people come back throughout the season. You know, sometimes they come back just to see what's, what's new on the menu and come back just for the food. This land heals people. When you come here and you tour this property, it's healing. 
if you let it in you have to give everything up and just let it in and you'll leave here a rejuvenated soul and that to me is the most special thing about Vermejo Park Ranch is that healing aspect of, that the land has for everyone. That's what I'm talking about. A nice rainbow. Wow, beauty. Nice fish. What a rainbow. Perfect. They're eating this Luna Negra. You know, out here in New Mexico, there's certain areas where they have, uh, you know, flying ant hatches and, you know, to some people that would probably look like an awfully enormous fly, but, you know, size 10, 12, and 14 flies are pretty standard out here on the ranch. They're big fish and they're used to eating big bucks, so, you know, give yourself something that's easy to fish, easy to see on the water. And it gets bit. And it gets bit. I mean, we have had more results with that fly. Than, than I could even begin to tell you about. I mean, it works. There's no question about it. Oh,